Yo, what's going on guys? So today we're back and we're going to be making an updated Crypto Skins tier list because it has been over a year since we've made an updated Crypto Skin tier list video. And I will say Crypto has gotten some fire skins in the past few months. So we will be putting all of those on this tier list here today. So basically what we're going to do is take all of his legendary skins and some of his epic and rare skins that I think are pretty solid skins as well. And we're just going to be throwing those onto a tier list. And here's what the tiers are going to look like. So you'll see we have D to S. And we are going to be doing B plus and A plus as well. And before we get into this tier list video, I just want to make sure you guys know that all of this is subjective. Like this is not like set in stone, best crypto skins. This is all my personal opinion. So everyone's going to have different lists when they make their own tier list. So I'll go ahead and put it down in the description. Like if you guys want to make your own tier list using these skins, it is linked down in the description below. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and go ahead and go down in the comments and let me know which crypto skin is your favorite. All right, so first up, we have Azure Gaze. And honestly, I kind of like the skin a lot. Like for being only a rare tier skin, it does have like that unique look to it with this blue skin and kind of like how everything's designed. So this skin, I'm not going to say it's one of his best, but it's definitely not one of his worst. I'm going to drop it in the B tier. All right, so up next, we have the Hired Gun Skin, and this is obviously one of Crypto's best skins. It's the all-black John Wick outfit. This one's obviously going to go S-tier. So we have our first S-tier skin here with Crypto. Obviously, this is one of Crypto's best skins in the game, so that's an easy S-tier. And up next, we have Crypto's Season 4 Battle Pass skin, Blue Steel. And this skin actually is pretty solid as well. It kind of reminds me of Azure Gaze a little bit, where it kind of changes up his skin. Like, he has, like, that white cyborg skin. I'm going to go ahead and drop this one in the B-tier as well. I think it's just like a solid skin, it kind of changes the look a little bit, so we'll drop that one in the B tier. And next up, we have Crypto's Hypebeast skin. I love this skin personally, it's always been one of my favorite in the game for him. I like how it kind of like changes it up a little bit, gives him kind of that, that cyberpunk vibe. And I love the goggles, I love the Tejun Park on the jacket. This one's not S tier for me though, so we're going to drop it in the A+. I still think it's one of his best skins in the game, but just not S tier for me. And up next, we have Crypto's Machine Language skin. And this skin, in my opinion, is just one of Crypto's better skins in the game as well. I love the whole design with the mask, the haircut, the barcode on the side of his head. So we're going to go ahead and drop this one in the A plus tier. So right there alongside Hype Beast. And now we're on to Crypto's Inconspicuous skin. And this skin, ever since it came out, has been my favorite skin in the game. Like for any legend, Crypto or anyone else, it's been my favorite skin in the game. Up until recently, I will say there's one other skin that has taken its spot as my favorite skin in the game. But Inconspicuous to me is still one of Crypto's better skins in the game, if not his best skin. I love the lore behind it, you know, it's OG Crypto days before he went on the run. So he doesn't have like that whole look to him with like his uh, like his little chin strap technology and like all that stuff. So it just, you know, it's Crypto with his glasses, his hair, he's wearing like a little 9 to 5 outfit. And honestly, one of my favorite things about this skin is the lore behind the skin. Because this skin is from Crypto's story from the Outlands, uh, the Forever Family storyline. And I just kind of love the lore behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of throw that up here on the screen. So you can kind of pause it and take a look at it if you haven't seen his lore before. But this one for me is an easy S tier skin. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in there. And up next we have Crypto's Hardened Circuitry skin. And it's an epic skin. But in my opinion I think this is Crypto's best epic skin in the game by far. I love like, the whole color scheme to it. The kind of silver hair with like the neon bluish green purple pink vibe. I think he's one of the best skins in the game for Crypto, and I'm going to put this in the A-plus tier as well. And then up next, we have Crypto's Nomad Overseer skin. I believe this was from the Warlord event in like Season 8 or something. This skin, personally, for me, um, I, it's different, right? But it's not my, it's never been my favorite skin. I do kind of like how he has his shirt off. He has like the belt, the whole hair, and I don't know, the mustache is pretty funny. But for me, it's never been one of my favorite skins for Crypto. And we're going to go ahead and drop this one in B-plus. We actually, okay, back to back, we're going Christmas skins. So up first, we have Crypto's Hack Frost skin. And obviously, you know, if this is Christmas time, I'm definitely going to be rocking this skin, but I never really wear it if it's not Christmas time. Um, I'm putting this one in the B+. And up next, we have the Ether. I think this one's like his elf skin. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Winter Elf. I think, personally, I like this one just a little bit more than Hack Frost. I'm going to drop this one in A tier. I like it just a little bit more than Hack Frost because, I don't know, it has... I kind of like the style too, you know, he has like that headpiece with the gold. I, it gives me, I kind of like the feel to it. Hack Frost for me is like a little bit more of a meme, I guess. I do like the skin as well, but we're going to go ahead and drop Crypto's Elf skin up in the A tier. And up next we have Crypto's Cosmic Navigator skin. And this skin is Crypto's newest free skin from this season. And it kind of gives him to me like, a, he looks like Brainiac honestly from like DC. I don't know, it just kind of gives me like that vibe. 
It's not my favorite skin at all in the game. I'm going to drop this one in B tier and we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next. And next we have Crypto's Rising Phoenix skin. In my opinion, this is one of Crypto's better mask skins in the game. And I really like the color scheme personally, you know, I've always been drawn to it and I kind of like how it fades from a darker orange to more of that lighter orange on the jacket. And for me, this is one of Crypto's just better mask skins in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this one in the A plus tier. And next we have Hollowed Spirit. This is part of, uh, I think, the Champions Edition. It's like the $40 or $35 to get this skin. Um, for me, I've never been a big fan of it. I mean, it's super cool, right? Like he's looking like a statue. He has like the light blue kind of accents on the side. I think it's a really solid skin. I just personally never wear it. And actually I don't own it anymore because I bought this one back on my Xbox. But whenever, whenever I switched to PC, I never ended up getting it again. So I haven't worn it in like over a year and a half. So for me, I'm gonna drop this one in the A tier. And now we're moving on to the season 13 battle pass skin i believe uh for me i don't think this one's that too crazy at all like if you don't own anything else like maybe you know put it on but i think it's just like a standard battle pass skin this one's actually going in the c tier for me and now we're moving on to devil's advocate crypto another suit skin for me this is the weaker of the three when it comes to the suit skins i think it's still one of crypto's better skins in the game of course you know he's dripped out in a suit he has white hair frosted tips I'm dropping this one up in the A plus tier, but I do think it's the weaker of the three when it comes to the suit skins. And now we're moving on to Crypto's Deadly Bite skin, his vampire skin. For me, I've never been like the biggest fan of these skins. I think they're super cool, like his vampire skins. Like I think they're really cool concepts and ideas for like Halloween skins for Crypto. But for me, I've never been the biggest fan, but I do think it's still an A tier skin, his, uh, his Deadly Bite skin. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that one up, up in the A tier. And now we're moving on to Awoken Fury, Crypto's, I think, season two anniversary skin. I think this skin's pretty fire overall. Like, it's like Crypto, like an old man captain. He has the gray hair, the spectacle. Um, I'm dropping this one up in the A tier. And up next, we have the Mass Storyteller skin. And the thing about this skin is that it was leaked for over two years. Like, I swear to God, this skin was leaked and they kept saying it was coming, it was coming, it was coming. And Crypto mains were like, all right, when's the skin dropping? So th this skin had a lot of hype behind it, and I don't know if that hype maybe killed off the skin for me a little bit, but when this skin came out, I got it, and I was just kind of like, I don't know, maybe underwhelmed a little bit. I still think it's a solid skin for crypto, but for me, this one's going to be dropping in the B plus tier. Like, I do like the mask, kind of like the color scheme a little bit, but for me, I don't think it's as good as some of his other mask skins, so we're going to drop in the B plus tier. All right, so up next, we have crypto's final suit skin, and that's going to be the fuzzy logic skin. And for me, I kind of always viewed Crypto as a green themed colored legend, like green was kind of the color that went with him. And when I saw the Fuzzy Logic skin for the first time back in the day, I was like, that skin is perfect for Crypto. And I kind of fell in love with it. And it was my favorite skin for a while up until I want to say season nine when Inconspicuous came out. So there's a little bias here, but I this one for me is an easy S tier. I love like the green suit kind of goes with like his color scheme and the suit in general. So I'm just going to go S tier for, uh, for Fuzzy Logic there. And now we're on a crypto second vampire skin and for me like i said i never was a biggest fan of the vampire skins i think they're pretty solid overall and you know around halloween i'll always wear it but i think this one's worse than deadly bite so we're gonna go ahead and drop this one in the b plus tier and now we are on to the cryptic conjurer the doctor strange crypto skin so this skin for me here was honestly one of the biggest surprises when they first dropped it because I knew they were doing like a whole superhero themed event. I just didn't expect them to drop a Doctor Strange Crypto skin. You know, like it's kind of out of nowhere for me. But I do think it's one of the better skins and one of Crypto's best skins in the game, obviously. You know, it's Doctor Strange Crypto. But when I was making this tier list, it was kind of hard for me to place it. Because I originally I had like an S, A, B, C, and D tier. Like I didn't have the pluses. But I wanted the skin like to be in the S tier. But for me personally, compared to some of his other skins, I don't think it's S tier. I think it's A plus tier. So that I'm putting it in the A plus tier for me. Go ahead, like at this point, go ahead and go down in the comments. Let me know like what you would change so far. But for me, Doctor Strange Crypto is A plus tier. And up next, we have Crypto's epic themed Christmas skin. And honestly, like this one is pretty underrated. Like it's not like a crazy skin at all, but for being like just an epic skin, I think it's a pretty cool like color scheme. Definitely something I'd wear around Christmas time. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one in the B tier and just move on to the next. All right, so up next, we have one of the best crypto skins in the game, and that's gonna be Whitelisted. And Whitelisted came out back in season four during the collection event, and it's honestly been a fan favorite in the game ever since release. So for me, this one's an obvious S tier. Like, you know, they turned him into a half cyborg. It's, I think it's like, what, he's a simulacrum? I think that's what they call him. Easily one of his best skins in the game. He's half machine, half human. He has his flag on the back of his jacket. So easy S tier there. 
And up next we have, I, th I think this is another Battle Pass skin. Um, maybe this one's called Patch Notes. Um, I was never a big fan of this skin at all. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this one in the C tier and we'll move on. All right, so up next we have the recolor for the Hollowed Spirit skin. And I kind of feel the same way about this skin as I do about the Hollowed Spirit skin. Like I think it's a cool concept and design, but for me it's not like my favorite design ever. And I'm dropping this one in the A tier. All right, so up next we have a free skin that was from like Prime Game Looting. So it was like a free reward. I think the skin's like pretty like average, you know, like if you got it, it's better than nothing. But honestly, I would rather wear a Crypto's default skin, but I'm going to drop this one in the D tier. All right. So up next, we have Crypto's Mass Dancer skin. And this skin is actually the very first skin I ever crafted for Crypto way back in the day. So it does have like a soft spot for me, but I am trying to make a very unbiased tier list here. So like I really want to put this one in like the A plus A tier because I love it so much. But if I'm being honest, this one for me is a B plus tier skin. So we're going to drop in the B plus tier. All right, so up next we have Crypto's Seeker of Knowledge skin. And this one came out back in season five during the collection event. And I think it was added at the same time that he got his uh, town takeover as well. And I've always loved this skin ever since it came out. You know, it has like the little mustache, has a spectacle. So it's kind of a different skin, you know, like the mustache is like a little funny, but I've always really loved this skin. So I'm gonna drop this one in the A tier. All right, so now we have the Crypto Strength and Power skin. This is his Goku skin. You know, I really wish they would give him a legendary Goku skin because then it can kind of go crazy with the hair and do a bunch of crazy stuff. But for an epic skin, you know, I see what they're going for. They're just kind of going for like the themes and the colors. So it's pretty solid for an epic skin. I'm gonna drop this one in the B plus tier. But if they went, if they made this skin a legendary skin and actually made it, you know, Goku, it could have been, it could have been really sick. But for what they did, I'll give it a B plus tier. All right, so now we have another Crypto Battle Pass skin. I can't remember what season this one came from, but for me this is pretty standard issue you know like they give him like dragon scales on his jacket nothing crazy happening here this one's gonna be another d tier skin all right so up next we have another free crypto skin and i think this one came from like the season eight free event rewards maybe uh don't quote me on that but for me this one's like another pretty standard crypto skin um i like the maroon color scheme kind of but there's not really like, too much going on here to talk about too much so i'm just gonna drop this one on the c tier and move on all right, so up next we have the Totemic Might skin for Crypto, and I believe this one's a recolor of his Mass Dancer skin. And honestly, I think it's a pretty solid skin. You know, it has like that faded orange and the light blue. And for me, I kind of really like the light blue accents on the skin. It's kind of uh, my favorite part of it. But I'm gonna drop this one in the B plus tier, and I think it's a pretty solid skin overall for Crypto. All right, so now we're on a Crypto Sweet Synergy skin. And for me, I've always loved this skin. You know, like if you and your squad want to wear like all pink outfits. I always throw on like the sweet synergy outfit for crypto it just i kind of like the little candy cane design on, on like the arm sleeve there and it's just like you know an all pink outfit so i think it's a pretty solid skin for crypto i'm gonna drop this one in the b tier all right so next i think this is another like free prime game looting rewards um this is like another dragon scale type design um nothing too crazy for me like i think it has some like cool design on his face but i still don't think it's like anything too too crazy i'm dropping this one in the c tier all right, so now we're on the Crypto's very first Legendary Battle Pass skin. So this skin actually came out last season, and it was his very first Legendary Battle Pass skin to ever get released into the game. So it's crazy it took him that long, but we finally got one, boys. And I think it's honestly a pretty solid skin, you know? Like, he is wearing a suit as well, and I love the helmet. And I love the whole design. Like, he has a sparkly jacket, and I just think it's a really fun skin. So I'm dropping this one in the A-plus tier. All right, so now we're on the Crypto's final and last mask skin, Winter's Grasp. And for me, this one's easily Crypto's best mask in the game. I love the whole, it's kind of light blue design, the light blue mask. Everything for me just looks perfect. And I think it's one of the best skins in the game for Crypto. So we're going to go ahead and drop this one up in the S tier. All right. So before we get to the final legendary skin, we're going to put Crypto's default skin in the tier list. So for me, I think Crypto has one of the best default skins in the game. And I say that with no bias. Well, I guess there might be a little bit biased because I'm a Crypto man. But I do think he has like one of the best, if not the best default skins in the game. So for me, I would toss the skin up into the B tier and there's that. All right, so now we're on the Crypto's very last skin and his newest skin added into the game. And you guys heard me say at the beginning of this video that Inconspicuous was always my favorite skin in the game and that it was always my favorite skin up until recently. And that's because this skin here, Classified, came out. I think this is Crypto's best skin in the game. Like they gave him the tailored pants, he has the no socks on the glasses, the haircut, everything together, you know, like he has the pistol like on his chest. I love the shirt, the collar. I think this is by far the best crypto skin in the game. I want to put it in the S plus tier, but we're just going to chill out and just drop it up here in the S tier. 
So there we go. There's that. So this is my complete crypto skin tier list. And like I was saying, you know, this is very subjective. This is my opinion. I, all this can be switched around. Like if someone told me they wanted to switch Hypebeast and put it in S tier, I'm not going to argue that. But in my opinion, this is my tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and go down in the comments. Let me know like what will you change around in this tier list? What you think should be S tier? What shouldn't be S tier? Let me know down in the comments and hope you guys enjoy your day.